Hi, I'm Dean Groovy from Knife Tech NZ, and thanks for buying our filleting DVD. This is a step-by-step -step instructional video on how to fillet, skin and bone, and other techniques used to prepare a selection of fish species. You have a gurnard. A gurnard is a relatively simple fish to fillet. We lift the wing up and you've got a spike right on the edge here. This is a dangerous wee spike. So what we do, hold the head to avoid getting yourself spiked. Take the back of your knife and run your back of your knife up the fish until you hit the spike. So it runs under the fin to the spike that you can see. Turn it over and then make a cut in. All we have to do from there is turn the knife back towards the other way Keep the fish flat, the knife you can see is angling down and that's just to keep the knife towards the bone. Once it, if it starts to uh, jerk or jam, then basically just relax the knife back a bit. But bearing in mind that this has got a chisel edge on it, so therefore it's actually potentially flat even though it's on an angle. So what we want to do is just now, using the back part of our knife, is just move it along the fish. So we've come, run a knife up to here, rolled it over, cut in, turned, and then come to here. The reason I haven't cut it right through is because now I can skin it. So I don't have to separately take it off and try and hold it. From here, I can get the knife in at the base of the skin, wrap it over like that, and pull it nice and easily through like that. On the other side, just make sure that's out of the way. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Run your knife up till you hit the spike, roll it over and cut on the angle. Turn your knife back, make sure it's angling down, and using the back part of your controlled knife, and with the fish near the edge of the board, just once again, just work your way through to the tail, so it should, because it's a relatively simple fish, it's just one cut through, okay? So we've come up to the spike, turned, cut down, rolled the knife, and just try and keep your knife on the angle like that, because the more you straighten it out, what will happen is you've got the little elbows in here, and what will happen is you'll start, the straighter your knife, the more your knife will catch these things. You turn on an angle, the more it'll flow over them. Okay, turn it straight, it'll catch them, angle it, it'll turn it straight. So now what we're going to do is skin it off. Okay, with any of the gut that's in it, all we have to do is take our knife and just use our knife, any bone that's in there, just trim it off. Okay, here we've got a little bit of skin, a little bit of bone. All you have to do is get it and just pull it off by hand. These are very much like a monkfish. The bones are shaped like that so that they're curving around. So when I put my knife in here, you'll literally see them roll over. Put your knife in and come round with the curve. Because the bones are tight together, you don't normally cut through them. You'll normally your knife will actually follow. You've just got to make sure that you roll your wrist as you do it. When you do the second side, it's the same principle, cut in and roll, okay? The reason I haven't cut right through, because as you can see on this other fillet, you've got quite a big gut lining on these, and even though it's a white gut lining, it's not necessarily attractive to other people, but this way will help you take it off. But because I haven't cut right through, what I'll do is poke my knife through there, stick my finger on top of the bone and just trim out. So there is most of the gut lining there. When you turn it over, you've taken out most of that lining. Okay. Because this has got a little bit of enzyme activity in it, okay, then you'll need to take it back to where the activity is. So this, this fish here, once again, has got quite a big gut lining. To take the guts out, just put your knife in and just push it away. 
Here I've taken this fish and you'll see I've pushed it flat so that that's against that. So when I actually cut it, I can actually follow, follow the roll. Okay. So I've, I've pushed that flat against the board, come in, rolled. Now on this side, come in and come under it. I'm not going to cut right through again. I'm going to put my knife in there, hold that like this, and there's your lining just to help with your presentation. When I turn it over, you can see how basically that whole lining's gone. I'd love to get your feedback and photos on the success of your next prepared catch. If you'd like to see anything on the up and coming DVDs, please let me know. You can get our details off the screen now or from the back of the DVD case.